Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today, we're going to do a complete technical analysis over Apple, tickle symbol AAPL, for the month of May. We're going to be going over the 15-minute chart, the 30-minute chart, the one-hour chart, and the four-hour 180-day chart. These charts will help me set up my day trades and my swing trades for this month for Apple. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive into the platform that I use, think or swim, and do the technical analysis of Apple. All right, YouTube, here we go. This is the think or swim platform that I use from TD Ameritrade. It's completely free. All you have to do is sign up, make an account with TD Ameritrade. And you can download the think or swim uh, platform onto your um, computer or onto your phone okay so they do have an app on your phone that you guys can use but let's go ahead and get straight into the technical analysis let's go to the shorter time frame this is for guys that want to um, hold it for a couple of days maybe anything less than a week and sell it so if you want to do day trading buy it the same day sell it the same day you'll have to look at the one minute chart but we're gonna uh, see if we can hold it for a day or two so we're gonna look at the 15 minute chart over the last five days okay so the last trading week this is the 15 minute chart every bar on here if i zoom in every bar on here represent the price movement of apple over the last 15 minutes all right so every bar represents 15 minutes so the high apple has been the last five days is 303 dollars and the lowest it has been is 208 dollars so that is a growth of around eight percent okay in the last five trading days currently apple is sitting around currently apple is sitting around three hundred dollars so let's put down some price movement charts some uh some bars so if we draw the tops of every peak there and draw the bottom there so apple is moving in a channel a upward channel right now so which is good for day trading you always want the price action of your stock to be moving up so let's not look at anything else but the price movement inside of this channel it goes up it touches the top of the channel it comes back down it goes up touch the top of the channel comes back down went back up touch the top of the channel had a little correction over the weekend and it's back up at the top of the channel could it move here it could possibly move here if it does move here that might be a good time for a buy uh, to try to catch the price movement back to the top of the channel. Uh, it's been oversold here on the RSI and had a dramatic drop down. And then once again, it was oversold here, had a drop down, oversold here. That's why I'm looking at the RSI. It's gonna tell me that it's oversold, had a little drop down. And it was oversold once again here and had a little pull back at the beginning of the day. And it ended up recovering to end at around $300. All right, so that is the 15 minute chart. Let's zoom out a little bit so we get a little bit more data. Okay, so if we extend this channel even more, bam, extend it even more. So this is the 30 minute chart, guys. This the Apple has been in an upward trade on this channel for over the last 10 days. Okay, so it's up at the top, at the bottom of the channel. Top, found a way back down top found the way back down top found the way back down now it's at the top where apple fall back to the bottom of the channel possibly is it possibly it could fall back to the bottom of the channel okay it's not overbought or oversold every time that it did fall to the bottom of the channel it was overbought or oversold right here it was bought or over uh so all right so it was overbought right there fell to the bottom overbought right there fell to the bottom overbought right there and fell to the bottom so it was overbought right here, but the RSI is looking good that it might not reach the bottom of the channel. If it does reach the bottom of the channel, that might also be a good buy for you to hold on for a couple of days until it reaches the top. So one thing that I look at is how long does it take for it to recover? So if we look right here, it took three days and two hours for, to go from the bottom of the channel to the top. All right, if we look right here from the bottom to the channel to the top. It took one day and 12 hours to go from the bottom of the tunnel to the top. Right? And if we look right here, it took just half a day for it to go from the bottom to the top. 
right here from the bottom to the top it took one day and eight hours so if we're looking at the next time Apple is at the bottom of the channel, you can look to buy to hold for either a day or two in order for you to uh, know when is a good time to sell Apple stock, all right? So let's zoom out a just a little bit more to the one hour, 20 day chart. All right, so here we go. Price action has broke out a little bit. Uh, I think they announced what did Apple announce? A phone or something one it did uh, earlier last month. And they had a, a spike in their sales. But let's take a look at the one hour, 20 minute chart. The low is right here. And the high. Okay, so we take a look. We, we drew a bar at the low and a bar at the high. Okay. If we take a look at the one hour, 20 minute chart, uh, Apple is using the 180 day SMA line to as its resistance line so when it came down from here it bounced off and then it bounced off the uh, 180 day sma line and then it stayed true to that line it, it did not want to fall be below that line and then it ended up bouncing and recovering back up so if apple was to come back down to this green line you could see it as a support line and that it might not fall below that line any further than it has all right so that might be another indicator for it to buy and now let's zoom out to the four hour, 180 day, the one I use to swing trade. Let's clear out this a little bit right quick. Clear drawing set. Yes. Okay. And there we go. This is the price action of Apple over the last 180 days, 180 days ago, price was at 220 bucks and it's all the way up to $328. Okay. So as you could tell, uh, this is around when the news happened, right? All right. So we're not getting much from this chart because of all the uncertainty in the news and uh, from the beer virus. But what we can do is that when Apple is trading, when you look at the 180 day, uh, EMA line, the SMA line, if you put a little arrow right there on the line, if you draw an arrow right down the line, it's pointing up, right? I mean, it's a good time to buy whenever this green line is pointing up the 180 day support resistant line the sma line whenever it's pointing up that's the simple moving average line is pointing up it is a good time to buy apple right here the line is pointing down right so it's not such a good time to buy apple to swing trade to hold for a couple of days to hold for a couple of weeks to hold for a month or two right it's not a good time the green line is pointing now right here it's still pointing sideways but at, over the last couple of days if we was to put an arrow right there on the green line, it's starting to point up again. So this might be a good indicator if Apple pulled back just a little bit to buy in. Once you zoom in on those tighter time frames and you get in there and find a good price point to buy Apple at and the green line on the 180 day simple moving average is pointing up. It might be a great time to uh, swing trade Apple now that it is the arrow is pointing in the right direction. It's pointing up and not pointing down. Once again, you want the 180 day simple moving average to be pointing up, not pointing down. And right now, over the next couple of days, it's on the cuffs of not pointing sideways, not pointing down, but pointing up. So that is the 180 day swing trade for the Apple uh, technical analysis. Now, the last thing that I would look at if I do take a position is that it did have a resistance right here at $328. It touched it once, came down, touched it again, tested it again, and tested it again. So if you could, you could buy it at $300 and swing trade it all the way up to $328 for a profit of almost 8.1%. But yeah, guys, that is one of the technical analysis of the 180 day four hour chart. That is the one I like the most uh day trading might be a little risky right now because of the uncertainty of the market a swing trade might also be risky right now because of the uncertainty of the world but if we're just paying attention to the technical analysis from the think of swim platform the 180 day swing trade looked like a hit and there we go guys i'm probably not going to be day trading at the moment due to the the uh the volatility and the un predictable market right now but i might take a position in apple and actually do the swing trade the swing trade is looking promising for apple considering that they do have a large stock of cash available on hand 
uh, for their company. But uh, Apple is a company that is going to last a very long time, I see in the future. So I might take this position now, collect the dividends and let my portfolio grow over time. But that is a complete technical analysis of Apple. If you guys want me to break down any other stock, just go ahead in the comment section and comment what stock do you want me to break down in the comment section and I'll try to grab them all in my next video and do a complete technical analysis. So if you guys want to see those, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out. Other than that, I'm Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show and I'm out. Peace.